Hi, today I have another video about population genetics and uh, today I have two multiply choice questions and one true false question and the first question is what is the ultimate source of the genetic variability and here is the five answers that you may choose from answer A mutation answer B migration answer C genetic drift answer D non-random mating answer E selection and I want to start from the end of this list selection and selection always means that we select something and that means also that uh, genetic variability would be reduced so we have to cross out this answer non-random mating is another uh, way of the selection and genetic drift imagine that we have situation when we have uh, one population let's say this is population one and we also have another population let's say this is going to be population two and in population one we have uh, some um, ratio of the alleles let it be two kind of alleles with ratio uh, 50 to 50 percent and in uh, population two we have another ratio of the same two alleles. Uh, let's say this is going to be uh, 1 to 10 ratio. So 10% would be alleles that is represented with white color and 90% alleles represented with red color. And due to migration of some, uh, say it can be animals, it can be... Um, plants or pollen of those plants, seeds. So uh, we shift the ratio of the uh, alleles in uh, population 2. So now there are going to be more uh, white alleles here and ratio may change also from uh, 1 to 10 ratio to for example 2 to 8. So 20% would be uh, white alleles and 80% would be red alleles and also we may have situation when we have population number 3 where we may have different alleles present let it be yellow and also due to migration process uh, these alleles may end up in this population too so as you see, uh, uh, this can be a source of the genetic variability, uh, genetic drift, but uh, we cannot call this ultimate source of the genetic variability just because this is random events and uh, these events happen due to migration. So migration might be such source, but uh, this is not reliable source not ultimate source so we left only with answer a mutation and mutation uh, is uh, what drives all this progress and uh, gene uh, um, changes in genes and uh, new alleles arise due to mutation and uh, new species arise so this is would be considered ultimate source of the genetic variability so we have to choose answer A. And uh, second question, the movement of new genes in the population as a result of the migration or hybridization is called and once again we have five answers. Answer A, founder principle, B, selection, C, gene flow and D, bottleneck effect, answer E, adaptation. Let me start from the answer A, founder principle. And once again, imagine that we have population 1. Uh, we can call it Mineland population. And also we have isolated uh, island with no population at all. And here with, we have some also uh, alleles present in this gene pool. And um, different alleles can be present. Once again, uh, with red alleles prevailing 
and due to uh, migration this population uh, one can be a source of uh, new population two on this island and just uh, due to random event this can be uh, this might happen this, uh, that for example white alleles uh, would be uh, more represented here than red alleles just due to random uh, selection so this called founder principle and this doesn't answer our question so we have to cross out it and uh, answer B selection doesn't answer our question also because when there there is a migration happens uh, there is no usually special selection so this is random process as you saw in this example so uh, animals or pollen may migrate to this island uh, uh, just randomly and allele frequency might be different from uh, what we have in the population one so this is purely random um, process and there is no selection usually happens and answer D bottleneck effect we have when uh, there is uh, some kind of disaster may happen and uh, population may be greatly reduced just uh, sometimes only few uh, animals might be left or few plants and this few animals or plants may start a new population and as you understand um, such population uh, gene variability would be greatly reduced so this is uh, called bottleneck effect so we have to cross out this answer also and answer E adaptation and uh, uh, example of adaptation imagine that you live on the north and then you move to the southern region of your country where there is more sun uh, radiation and uh, you expose uh, more to the sun and your skin become darker as uh, defense mechanism so this is example of adaptation and this has nothing to do with the movement of new genes in the population as a result of uh, migration so we have to cross out this answer also and what we left with is answer C uh, uh, the movement of new genes in the population as a result of the migration or hybridization is called uh, gene flow and uh, we have the last uh, question or this is a statement this is true false statement that is uh, inbreeding increase the proportion of homozygous individuals in population so you have to choose whether it is true statement or false and uh, the correct answer would be a this is true statement with each round of the inbreeding uh, we have a reduction of the heterozygosity by 50%. So with each round of the inbreeding, uh, we have uh, uh, increase by 50% of the homozygous wall size and uh, probably um, around 10 uh, rounds of the inbreeding. Uh, almost all loci, almost 100% uh, uh, of the loci would be in homozygous state so that's all for today thank you for attention please subscribe to my channel i post new videos almost every day please write your questions and comments thumbs up if you like this video that's all for today goodbye